Yeah, I know. I'd be upset too if I was you. Yeah. What are you thinking, anyways? Ah, that's close enough, pal. That's close enough, pal. Come any closer, I'll heave this rock. Hey. You didn't like it. Go on, Bear! It's a nice one. You want me to get the board? He's running at the boat. You want me, you want me to get that? Dude, right should, I, should I put the trolling motor in, in spot lock? Honey, shut up. Should I put it in spot lock? Honey. Answer my question. Do you want it in spot lock? Oh, get the board. What are you oh. doing? Pay attention. Okay. It's, it's a walleye. Oh my god, yes! We got one! Let's freaking go. First one of the week. Go yes. let him pop away. First one of the week. First one of the freaking year. The whole year by me and Chase. Nice. Ow. <laughs> Woo! That's freaking amazing. Nice, dude. Yes. Does it look like it's like third? Yeah, it looks really freaking big. Okay, good. Turn him a little sideways, cock side. Turn it up and down. The other sideways, left to right, I guess that would be. Dude, yeah. I love yes. fishing. Yes. Stop it. Yes! Don't get kinky, honey. Honey, I think there's a bear in the dumpster. Really? Yeah. Well, that's, I don't think we... I think what we should do, get the 22 caliber, the 22.22, and we're going to go and, and fire around up his sphincter. <laughs> Me and your mother, under the covers, under the sea. <laughs> 32! Okay, whatever, I'll just... I'll be right in. Come on. I, I know, I'm coming right... I'm going to... No. You're coming with me. I'm going to go on this. I'll be right there. It's raining. Uh, come on. I know. Just be, no. I'll be right there. I got no. I got to finish my granola bar. Eat, you can eat it on the way. Just shut up. No. Shut up. You can eat it on the way. I'll be in there in a minute. We don't have a minute. You're already two minutes late. We don't even have a customer Look, here. The customer's pulling up right now. That's the neighbor. It's Richie. Photo shoot night. We're getting pictures. Second grade pictures. Keep going. Kidding about that. I think that was just a weed. I think there's a lot of weed out here. Oh, I actually think I just. Shut up. It, it, we're on a weed. Now, okay. okay. I'm just hop... I'll just sit here and shut up. Yeah. So number one rule when you're using a boat, bud. Always put the plug in first. <laughs> it smells like crap in there. <laughs> what is it actually? Did you really? Huh? Did you really just? Leave a stinker in there? Huh. Oh yeah, that's definitely my ass. You're Sorry. Disgusting. <laughs> I'll get the vacuum and free. No, I really. No, and the thing is, is, I really, I really do apologize for this, cause, cause I do definitely recognize that's my ass. So <laughs> I apologize. We have a customer. You're stinking up the whole place. <laughs> I'll file a divorce or, a, or, huh? Those metals, some of those are still alive, dude. You can't throw those out. They're gonna die. No, they're not. Well, hey, at least I'm doing something. You're doing it wrong. I know, I've done this enough that I know that they're gonna die shortly anyways. No. And here's the other thing. It's all about customer satisfactory. Do seen? the checklist. One, two, three, four more jobs. I did that. I and I did, did that. It. You just left me to it. Who filled the fridge an hour ago? Me. Me. I stocked the worms. No, you did not. Put JC right now or this is going to end really weird. Huh. I'm going to take a breather. You hold the shop down for a second. I'm going for lunch break. I'm the only one that ever holds the shop down. I'm going for lunch half hour break. All right, so my parents are coming up for the weekend. They're uh, catching the 1040, so I'm going over on the 1010. you <laughs> here they are <laughs> i think that's them yep that's definitely them <laughs>
Hey, hey, Dad. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? And side scan allowed people to sit there and drive around and see fish to the sides of their boats, the left and right. And that was crazy. Now we have live scope, and live scope's actually ruined fishing, so. Uh, oh, excuse me. Gotta get their fryers up to 200 or 325. Oh, shit. She's warming up quick, buddy. I don't want to crush, buddy. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I freaking did it. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Dude, I'm shaking. I just stuck a freaking giant. And then I've wanted this so bad for like three goddamn weeks. I'm trying to figure this place out. It's so new and big and, and Canada's right there. 29, 29 incher. <laughs> Body wanna crush. That's my first big Drummond Island walleye, and it feels really good. There she goes. <laughs> oh my God. And all these guys troll harnesses here, and they're all shallow, and I'm like, dude, I hate that. It's so boring, I have to cast. I'm ADHD, I think I'm a little on the spectrum, so I have to keep moving myself. And uh, yeah, I kept moving, and here I am. I'm in the middle of nowhere, dude. I'm not far from a different country, I'll tell you that, and I'm in a, some good water here, Lake Huron, so. And stupid Chiggy went potty on the floor. No! 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 Be nice to me, Chiggy! I'm cleaning up after you, dude. No! <laughs> Tonight, we're in my brand new house that I just built. I forgot to tell you. Yeah. Um, if you start putting your nail gourd back on tonight. Yeah. That's that end. In case there's any question, because it goes behind a trim piece. Oh yeah, so yeah. That's why they're faded. light, light yeah. color. Yeah. So this is currently my first insulation job I've ever done with my new insulation business. It's good to start with a cabin because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no gloves, no mask. I feel like I'm a dying parakeet in the Amazon jungle. Let me know if you guys want me to come to your cabin. Nine two zero two two nine seven eight three four. I'll be there in probably a week or two's notice. Just let me know and I'll bring the crew over. You know, starting a new business is always an, uh, an investment for many people. And being a young bro kid, I knew I had to find a way to make money. So I started an insulation business, and it's called Buddy Insulation. Whenever you need insulation services, call up Buddy. He'll get it taken care of for you. Holy dude, it just settled down. Golf night, Wednesday golf night. I'm filling in for Connor's friend, Connor's partner, John. And I actually just absolutely striped a dime Tiger Woods style right off the frickin' tee box. Hey, Con, you just slow down, bud. There's a curl there. I just don't want you to hit him. Honey, stop. All right, just, they're hitting their shots. So just settle down. This could be good here. I have another range finder. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> All right, bud, let's go up to my ball. I know this isn't the ideal setup because you have to hit it through the trees and you don't have a clear shot, but this could be a nice ideal situation for a four, four iron punch stinger, honey, so. That is just fine. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, we're actually doing pretty good tonight. I'm four over, last hole, trying to close this out for a 40. I got to make a hell of a, a, a bogey putt here though, or a, a par, no, a birdie putt. It's about a 40 footer. So it's looking, uh, so I can set my phone up, honey. Um, so it's looking like a 40 footer. It might have a little, a little tiny bit of absolutely straight action. So I'm just going to knock it up in there and finish this round out and kick these old guys, these little heinies. <laughs> Nine on the night. Three over. <laughs> I just drained a 40-footer, buddy. Did you have that on film? Yeah. My throat's hurt. My throat's kind of hurting. I don't know if it's from last night or from now, but 
Dude, it's like sore. Must be from yelling. Would you be quiet, please, so I can plant? Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry, Glenny. <laughs> Does it look like I have money to throw in a skin pool, Robbie? Dude, I'm an amateur golfer, okay? Trust me, I don't do this much. I don't have much money to play with. <laughs> I played like ass. Dude, I know, but here's the thing. You have to stay positive, so. So, see, you can see my score here. I went par. What is that? Birdie. Oh, yeah, par. No, but we started on hole three. Okay. Anyways, par, birdie, par, bogey, par, bogey, bogey, par, bogey. For a 39, so. <clears throat> Con had a, a tough night, but I know deep down that he's really proud of me, so that's all that matters. Overall, I think I'm just mostly proud that I didn't have any double bogeys, because most of the time I have a, at least one or two of them. Dude, look at the, see the curl feather? <laughs> Shit. But anyways, I'm pretty sure next time I'll, I'm not going to do that, but you can't do that every time, right, Con? Motor runs, a, you know, a motor's, it's a good motor, but just got bad gas in it. They didn't use it, so we're burning out of Yacht Haven here. So, first smallmouth in the new boat, Lake Huron. Chunky little guy. Yeah, how's it going? Welcome to Drummond Island Outfitters. How, yeah, what can I help you find? <laughs> Food truck's open. Bada. Oh. Can I get an egg and bacon and sausage and cheese one? Copy that. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> get hooked, buddy. Chubs, get hooked. Order up. Dude, that looks really good. It's gonna be good. Cheers to the first day, right? Yeah. Okay, so I just got these brand new rods from Trika Fishing. Trika. And uh, I actually, I've heard a lot of good things about this, about these things. And so I figured I should probably try one for myself. So I got a, I got, we got a brand new seven something. Uh, Kuss me. <laughs> We're chilling at the bait shop. It's the night before the opening walleye opener for Michigan, the UP of Michigan, Lake Huron, Drummond Island. It's uh, 10, 29 p.m. right now. Uh, we're chilling at the bait shop. Got some really good Wi-Fi here. I remembered that I have another school assignment that I have to do, so I'm doing some school. Hey, quit throwing, quit, don't throw that in my dumpster. What are you doing? Throwing stuff away. I, you can't, dude, this is my, come on, get out of here. Hey, hey. You can't stop, dude. Get back. It's not your dumb. Get this back. is my business. Get back. Stop it. Get, get your. Get back. Hey. Get. It. So one of my many duties here at, at the Outfitter shop. Yeah, I'm a custodian. I'm a sales rep. I am um, a stocker. I'm a cashier. I am a propane filler. I'm. You know what I mean. I'm. I'm uh, uh, I cover a lot of bases, and one of those bases. Actually, it falls under the custodian base, but it's uh, it's just when when a bear shat some scat, I have to uh, take care of it. So, our first step is to find a shovel, and then we're gonna find it and then put it in there and put it over here. So, let's find a shovel. I think it's probably around the back here, honey. This honestly looks like a mini Clydesdale, like from Mackinac Island, like while the horses, like it looks like a horse poop. Oh my God, it's mushy too. It's like Grandma's fresh apple pie. Oh, wow, it's green and moldy and all. Oh. oh my God. Ew. Yeah. Got it. Got all the poop now, okay. Time to go to the woods. You can even see the bear track. I'm not lying, this is bear poop. I didn't like get a horse and say, oh my God, it's bear poop. Right, Tabitha? <laughs> Second, should we have? Three, two, Lost my slide. I got 30,000 crawler harnesses in there, okay? None of them are red, are they? Well, they're better than nothing, huh? I don't know what to tell you, dude. I I had everything that I wanted to rigged up, and you broke off on the favorite one. You, the, you, and, and, not... and, and, and you're not even positive. It might have been a weed. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, it's touchscreen. 
you and you if we look at how many again because i know but dude look at all the weeds though and i think oh weed broke off my 20 pound model yeah I, yeah how do you find the split screen this is why i'm going back to hummingbird why are you flashing the fish i don't know where are we are oh we this one yeah i must spend this setting Who put here. this in here i'm going back to hummingbird <laughs> Doing an order today, putting in an order for some tackle boxes. I think we're gonna get the Plano, probably the Plano Pros. Get a Plano Pro 2700 tech. My buddy Johnny needs them for his boat down the road, so I think we're gonna put these in and make sure he gets his product for the week so he can get out fishing. So uh, I'm not really sure, I forgot how to do this, but I'm probably gonna, I'll figure it out.